what does coming of ZPM in Mizoram mean? For an audience outside Northeast, what does it mean? Collapse of two party system, MNF versus Congress? Or does it mean little more than that? And my second mm -hmm. question to all my audience is, uh, once this is over, does it also mean that Manipur did not impact Mizoram at all? You know, the way Zoram Thanga started speaking about, you know, our people, Chin people, Kukizo people, you know, people vote, voted on issues which concerned them. Professor Dongal, to you first. Yeah, let me come to your second question. Actually, you cannot just marginalize that Joe unification. That is the standpoint of the PM also. So, MNF is defeated does not mean that so unification or cookies, so people concern is neglected. It is not marginalized. That PM also very much stands for that. And all political parties in Mizoram stand for that. So don't just marginalize that. That is the first important point which I would like to uh, point Professor Dongle, because... what do you mean by unification? Can you elaborate on that? No, no, no. Unification means uh, good relationship with blood-related brothers across the national and international border. Mm. And that is what uh, Zoro has been standing for. And that is what that has been propagated by different political parties in Mizoram also. And the one sitting beside you, uh, he just said, and he also repeated that, just because MNF is defeated, it does not mean that Mizo people or the Zoro people does not concern their blood-related brothers across the national and international border. It is not, because that PM also very much stand for that. That has been mentioned and that has been, I was together with the ZPM General Secretary in All India Radio live discussion today and himself mentioned clearly that very point. So that is my first clarification. And with regard to this ZPM, as we know, uh, <clears throat> the political situation in Mizoram since District Council era, it was mainly a fight between two main dominant parties. So during the whole district council era in the initial stage, it was struggle for power between uh, Mizo Union and United Mizo Freedom Organization. Then by the end of the term, it was a fight between Mizo Union and Congress. And during Union Territory era, the struggle for power was between Congress and People's Conference of Brigadier T. Simon. Then after statehood, the situation changed in such a way that the two dominant parties happen to be MNF and Congress. So Mizoram got statehood on 20th February 1987. And since that time, government has been repeatedly changed between MNF and Congress. And for these many years, chief minister has been interchanged between uh, Laltan Hola and uh, Zoram Thanga. So people of Mizoram, they have the eagerness to taste for the other party other than Congress and MNF. And that gap has been filled up by ZPM with its election slogan of Kalpungthar, new system. So the new system, this is the Kalpungthar, their policy. And uh, with this, ZPM promised that they will work with the new system, then they will introduce new system and they will function different from what the earlier Congress government and MNF government has done. So people of Mizoram, they have high expectation upon the promise and election slogan of ZPM. As a matter of fact, ZPM has been given amended by the people. And before election, in the exit poll, many they predicted that there will be hung assembly. But I flatly negated that because Mizo voters usually prefer for stable government, sing single party government. And due to that, from the very beginning, I don't believe that there will be hung assembly in this ongoing election also. And the result is coming out today. Uh, absolute mandate has been given to ZPM. And with regard to the issue that you raised, so uh, by dean of defection, the, 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 uh, defection from both MNF and Congress, BJP can manage to win 
two seats in Mara Autonomous District Council. Okay. BJP wins two seats in Mara Autonomous District Council does not mean that all Mara support BJP. You should not take it in that way. So why they voted for BJP and why BJP is winning there? BJP is winning there because their leaders are in BJP. They blindly follow. Okay, their that, that's a wonderful it's explanation, so Professor Dongle. Manifesto. It is not due to the influence of BJP mandate and Modi okay. magic all Amit Sambudik is not working here. Okay, wonderful. They, they, are, they vote for BJP <laughs> and it, because wonderful. Theek hai. That is BJP. your opinion. You know, you are, Professor Dongle, you are entitled to your opinion. Professor Dongle, there are other other yeah. guests also. I have yes, given yes, you yes. four minutes to yes. speak. I'll come back Suhas to you again. Has already clarified it. Yes, yes, so, yes. There are other guests. Mr. Chakma has always been part of my show. Mr. Chakma has been coming to my show for past six months. So he knows the he, he knows my show. Mr. Dongle, wait, I'll come to you. <laughs> I'll come to you. So my uh, uh, Suhas, you know, my question was that Zoro, you know, even Zoram Dhanga has lost election, you know. It's a big loss, you know. Chief Minister losing the seat, it's a big loss. You know, nine out of eleven ministers. Lose. Nine out of eleven ministers have lost. He was talking about Zobich in people. He was talking about it. So my question: It didn't work for him. It worked for Z ZPM, but it didn't work for him. No, I think my predecessor was quite correct because as far as the persecution of the Jo people in the neighborhood, whether in Bangladesh, Myanmar, or Manipur. I mean, the position of all the political parties was actually the same and will continue to be the same. So that is why no particular political party actually can get any kind of sympathy out of uh, that process. Uh, because uh, even prior to the incidents in, you know, Manipur, the Chin people were forced to flee from Myanmar and everybody was extending uh, support. So I never thought that, you know, I mean, the support or the issue of the Joe people from the neighborhood of Mizoram would be an issue because everybody, as I said, it's a common minimum program. It's like, uh, you know, so there was no way, I mean, you know, Jaram Thanga could have got any kind of uh, political benefit out of the process. So I think it was very clear from the beginning. I think he, it's, what is clear is that I people in Mizoram wanted to change. There have been many allegations again of corruption against the Congress. And uh, MNF, when they came to power, they could not make any dramatic changes uh, in the last five years. So actually people want change. And there's a new generation which has come up, you know, we no longer live in an age where information is not available. I think uh, as time passes by, information technology is reaching out to people and people are making much more uh, independent decisions in that sense. They could assess what is good and what is bad uh, for them. And of course, I mean, there is still you will find pockets, uh, which my predecessor had mentioned that, you know, I mean, people still follow the leader. So they will both, irrespective of whether one is in BJP or uh, MNF or JPM, uh, uh, that's true. But at the same point of time, I would say, I think, uh, ethnicity is not an issue which uh, played any role actually in this election. Uh, you know, I mean, communal issues, ethnic issues, we are not on the agenda in of any of the political parties in uh, um, in in uh, Mizoram, which is quite encouraging in that sense. You know, I mean, uh, despite you know violence in the neighborhood, that was not an issue, and that something to be appreciated. 